8.15 the time. He has won European Cups, league titles as well. But this weekend, football legend Graham Souness is venturing miles outside his comfort zone. 21 miles, in fact, as he sets off to swim the English Channel. He was inspired to do so by 14-year-old Isla, who's living with a devastating condition called epidermolysis bullosa. John Maguire has caught up with him and Isla ahead of the challenge. Inspired by 14-year-old Isla Grist, okay. Graham Souness says he wants to make a difference. So he's doing something that for him is very different. This weekend, he'll swim as part of a relay team the 21 miles across the English Channel. I've always been lucky because I felt I can dig in when a challenge comes along, physical challenge. But this has been, this has been, I'm not asking for any sympathy because that ain't my, that no, ain't, no. but emotionally it's been difficult. You know, like he's getting tearful, which is not me. I never get tearful watching a movie or a sad story. Um, but this has got to me like nothing else has ever got to me in my life. Inside his robe, there's a special message from Isla. Graham, thank you, all my love and gentle hugs, hugs. forever from Isla. All the rest of the guys are extremely jealous of that. So can I just have a little squeeze? It says gentle hugs because she has the rare degenerative genetic disorder EB, epidermolysis bullosa. It damages her organs, her development and in particular her skin. She's in constant pain through blisters both inside and outside her body. It's really hard to see her in pain and that there are lots of times there's nothing we can do about it other than make her as comfortable as possible and lie with her or sit with her or comfort her and talk to her. And She'll get cross with me because she'll say, I'll say, I know, I know, Isla, it's difficult. You don't know at all. And I'm like, I know I don't. I'm just trying to be compassionate and sort of share your pain. And it's, it's hard because I don't know. No. But I can, I've got a good idea. Such is the severity of her EB, the vast majority of her body is covered in bandages. So They're changed the three times a week by nurses and she has day. to be heavily medicated so to endure the excruciating pain. I lost me to go up and down during a bandage change. Mm. Again, the medication, the pain, it's unbearable. Mm. Um, and it's important for us to be able to judge on Isla and just say, right, we'll leave that for a minute. Um, and just get her through it as smoothly as possible. The challenge has come as a welcome distraction from the pain of daily life. It gets really good of him. They've been training really hard. Uh, and they're both doing really well with their training. Uh, but obviously every challenge has its challenges. But I think they're doing good. Five of the six swimmers have trained throughout the winter here in Dorset. This was a chance for the sixth member, Isla's dad, Andy, to join them. He's been training alone near his home in Inverness. Is this warmer than what? It feels warmer. Yeah, it feels warmer than Scotland. Nicer as well with the sand and the, the clear water up there. It's a bit stony and a bit muddy. Oh, it's great. Yeah, it's nice to have people, friends out there. Yeah, but they're not always that friendly. It's humbling though, because the guy swimming around with your camera on his head, going twice the speed of you on his back. The team's aims are to reach the French coastline and to raise more than a million pounds for Deborah, the charity that supports families living with EB. But perhaps most importantly, raising awareness. Children like Isla continue to suffer. But through this challenge, more people understand what EB means and Perhaps an end to that suffering comes just that bit closer. John Maguire, BBC News, Dover. 20 minutes past eight is the time.